This is ZBB Hypershift, and it shifts from black to blue. This is ZGM Hypershift. This is an interference pearl that shifts from purples, blues, and ambers. Today, we're going to find out what happens when you mix these two together. So let me introduce you to ZBB real quick. Again, this is from blacks to blues. It's a gorgeous pearl, super deep. You can see a little bit of those black tones, a little bit of those blue tones. And then, here is ZGM. And you're not going to see as much, but you're going to get the idea here. Beautiful blues, purples, and ambers. Now you might ask yourself, why in the world would you guys mix these two pearls together? And the truth is, we have a hurricane creeping. We don't have much time to get this done, and our weather for the rest of the week is going to be awful. So we are going for it. This is what came to mind, and we're running with it. So here is ZBB. Now, check this out. We sprayed this pearl before. One of the golden rules with this pearl, it goes over a black base, very low pigment load, what, like two coats max, two to three coats max, and you get a gorgeous blue to black with kind of like some plum purples just on the extremes, depending on if it's in like warm lighting or cool lighting. Now what's gonna happen when we drop in this ZGM? Prediction. I think we're gonna get a lot of these ambers really popping. In the liquid or on the car? Both. What about purples? You're gonna see purple. Do you think we're gonna maintain any black shifting at all? I don't know. Neither do I. Here goes the ZGM. Are we even going to be able to see it as it goes in? You tell me from a side angle. Or is the black tones of the ZBB just going to eat it up? I'm getting purples. Oh, I got a little on the side there. Making a bit of a mess. Here, it's starting to clump, actually. This is not dispersing all that well. This is going to end up being, just so they know, I don't even remember, 10 grams of each per gallon? Yeah. 10 grams of ZBB, 10, okay, it's lighting, lightening up. It'll be 10 ZBB and 10 ZGM per gallon. It did lighten up a little bit. You know, with interference pearls, you're not really getting that activation of the color until it goes over a base, specifically a deeper base. So stick a truth here. Okay, so that's definitely not ZBB. Let me see, let me see what we got. Got, okay, that to the, ah. Uh, I don't really know what's going to happen now. I'm not seeing any amber. This is not reacting the way I expected it to. No. I, neither of us genuinely have any idea what this is going to look like when it goes down. No. But there's only one way to find out. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. guys we're all done with the project now we knew that the zbb and the zgm were going to collide in one way or another and have some kind of reaction but i will admit 
This is not the reaction that we expected. I can't wait for you guys to see it. We're gonna take it outside right now and you know what to do. Take a good look at this car, look at the color, look at the tones, leave a comment below and rate this one for me, one through five. Let me know if you love it or if you hate it. And if you wanna change the color of your own emblems, your own wheels or your whole car, head straight to dipyourcar.com. We have a ton of kits, a ton of colors and they are all do it yourself friendly. Gabe and I had a lot of fun in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and we'll see you on the next one.